Not all salary packaging arrangements are created equal. There is a big difference to the salary packaging offered to not-for-profit organisations and their employees compared with the salary packaging available to standard organisations. As an employee of a not-for-profit organisation, you generally have a wider array of salary packaging options than standard organisations. And here's the real kicker, you don't pay any fringe benefits tax. So if you are part of the 10% of the Australian workforce that does work for a not-for-profit organisation, then you should be using these benefits because really, it's a no-brainer. Hello guys, Brad here from The Guided Investor. Welcome back to the channel for another video. As always, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I post regular videos about how you can do more with your money. And today is a video that's targeted specifically to those people who work for not-for-profit organizations as we're talking about salary packaging. Under a salary packaging arrangement, you forgo a portion of your income and in return, you get a benefit. And now the advantage of doing this is that you forgo part of your gross income or your pre-tax income to pay for an expense that you would have otherwise had to pay for after tax. And what this really means is that you are gonna save tax. And that can be potentially be up to as much as 47 cents in the dollar if you're on the top marginal tax bracket and including the Medicare levy. Now, just to reiterate what I said earlier, this does only apply to not-for-profit employees. As an employee of a standard organization, you may have the option to salary package some items. You won't have the same array of items that you can salary package. But the problem is there's gonna be fringe benefits tax implications, and often this renders the exercise a little bit useless. The amount that you can salary package is gonna be determined by a capping threshold. And now, dependent on which type of not-for-profit organization you work for, there's really two different capping thresholds. So as an employee, realistically, your benefit is either gonna be 9,010 per annum or 15,900 per annum but your employee will be able to tell you which one applies to you. Now, when I say per annum, I'm talking about a fringe benefits tax year, which runs from the 1st of April to the 31st of March every single year. Once you know your limit, there are numerous expenses that you can salary package, including your rent, mortgage repayments, school fees, credit card repayments, or your general living expenses, such as groceries, fuel, and bills. If you decide to salary package your mortgage repayments, then this will generally be paid directly into your loan. For everything else, you normally get what's called a salary packaging debit card. Now what this is, it's, it's a type of visa card that gets topped up every pay period with pre-tax income from your salary packaging, and you use that card to pay for your expenses. Now be mindful that there are restrictions on withdrawing cash from this card, so be wary of that. And in addition to the cap limit applied to the items we already talked about, there's an additional amount of 2,650 that you can salary package for meals and entertainment. Now this includes things like accommodation, uh, venue hire, cafes, restaurants. It just doesn't include general living expenses like groceries. So if you salary package this initial 2,650, you're gonna get a second visa card, which is to be used for your meals and entertainment expenses. Now that we have an understanding of what can be salary packaged and how much, let's look at a real life example of how this will all work. Mark is a public ambulance officer and has a salary packaging limit of $9,010. His gross annual salary is $120,000 and he plans to package the maximum amount of living expenses and meal entertainment. This table compares the outcome for Mark with and without a salary packaging arrangement. So under both scenarios, Mark earns gross income of $120,000. Under the salary packaging arrangement, he will salary package $9,010 for his living costs and $2,650 for his meal and entertainment. This will bring his taxable income down to $108,340. And under the arrangement where he doesn't salary package, his taxable income remains at $120,000. Tax payable on $120,000 is $34,747 and tax payable on $108,340 is $30,200. So instantly, you can see that there is a tax saving there from the salary packaging arrangement. 
Now, under the situation where he doesn't salary package, he still has to pay for those expenses of $11,660. This will leave Mark with after-tax income and after-expense income of $73,593 under the no salary packaging arrangement and $78,140 under the salary packaged arrangement. This is a net benefit of $4,547 per year. So as you can see, this is a pretty good outcome and it is something that every employee of a not-for-profit organization should be considering. Now you may have noticed that I haven't talked about salary sacrifice or superannuation and that's simply because it's not considered a fringe benefit. Salary sacrifice to super is something that every employee can do regardless of whether you work for a not-for-profit or otherwise. Now, if you add a bit of salary sacrifice on top of the concessions that we already talked about, it's gonna further improve the outcome. And salary sacrifice really is something that every employee should consider. So in summary, every employee of a not-for-profit organization should be salary packaging up to their annual limit. It's a way that you can pay for your living expenses from pre-tax income, which is a massive benefit. However, this does come with a warning. Just because you pay for your living expenses from pre-tax income doesn't mean you should spend more. It's not an invitation to increase your living expenses. In fact, I'll go as far to say that if you have a mortgage, then you should set up the salary packaging arrangement into your mortgage and pay for your living costs out of your own pocket like normal because it hurts a little bit more. But that's it for me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned something today in this video. If you did, please give it a like and I will see you guys in the next one.